Glory to God. Glory to God. I want you to remember this term, seed surgery. Seed surgery. The power of God was at work in this idea that the Father would send the seed, which is Jesus. And it really was seed surgery. Because remember, what happened in the garden was in the first sin of man, there was another seed planted. And guess where the soil was? The heart. So no wonder the word of God says, if you believe with your heart and confess with your mouth, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, because the heart actually became the mouth where Satan sowed the seed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So to receive the proper seed, which is King Jesus himself, it says if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, because in the Garden of Eden, the heart, became the mouth that swallowed the seed of the serpent. Dang, I couldn't say that. That would be too explicit. Wow. But I, I got to say, but, but who can stop me, though? <laughs> so, 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 so the serpent seeded in that woman's mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and that's, oh my God, that has been the issue with man is that they swallowed Satan's seed. Oh my God. Wow, I'm seeing this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This wild to me. The, the, these, um, this, this last dispensation of my ministry has been marvelous, the revelation height. If you watch uh, yesterday's broadcast, you'll see the revelation height. Um, if you watch um, all this year, all last year, you'll see the revelation height just getting higher and higher and thicker because there's a spirit of revelation at work, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Christ. And um, what that does is you'll have the knowledge of Christ being revealed to you through the spirit of revelation. So it'll be revealed to you and then you'll have wisdom on how to go about it, who to share it with, how to protect it, how to grow it, how to increase it, how to stay fascinated in your reaction towards it. Because the wisdom for revelation is excite, excited responses. The wisdom for revelation is excited responses. Remember, the angel reveals that's a revelation that you're going to have a son, John, and his response was in foolishness and not wisdom because it wasn't excited. So, so you learned something there, too. How many of y'all just learned something that the wisdom for revelation is excitement? That's why Jesus said, don't give what is holy to dogs because dogs won't have any excitement. They won't think that is something spectacular. All right. So the serpent seated in the woman's mouth. And so when Jesus came on the scene, it said, if you believe in your heart, because the heart was the soul where the seed was planted from the serpent and confess with your mouth, the heart became the mouth of that woman. And the serpent seeded in that woman's mouth. Now, here's the crazy thing. That's why when you're walking with God, there's two major things that you got to keep correcting your heart and your mouth. Wow. <laughs> 
the two major things that you have to keep purifying. David said, set a watch at my mouth, a watch over the doors of my lips. Set a watch at my mouth, oh, created me a pure heart. This is all King David's prayer. He's aiming at the heart and the mouth. Because these were, this was the avenue where, where the serpent seeded. And now, I want you to also see this. Since the serpent took out man with the seed, man has to take out the serpent with the seed. Wow. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Eternal wisdom station. Because the serpent took out a woman with the seed that he gave her, a woman can only take out the serpent with the seed. And so the seed is really King Jesus himself, but he created the money seed sowing principle so that you could physically do something that you yourself intentionally, intentionally is doing. And you can see for yourself that there's a seed being released by you, by you. See, if I receive Jesus is spiritual because nine times out of 10, Jesus not going to show me himself because that's going to remove my level of faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, is the evidence of things not seen. So the not seen place is divine. I don't see my house. That's why your faith can work for it. I don't see my health. That's why your faith can work for it. Faith without what? Works. So your faith needs a job. If you see everything, your faith will be fired. If you see nothing, your faith will be hired. And when you live by faith, eventually your life will be admired. Because people will look at you and realize that you are a manifesting spirit. Take time to listen to me, because if you if you run fast listening to what I'm saying, you're going to miss the substance of what I'm saying, because this is really heavy stuff. And so King Jesus uses the seed, the money seed. When you sow it, it ejects every seed that can be seeded into you. That's why when you're sowing, you can do heart checks and mental checks and company checks. And you, you can examine what's in your life from a righteous point of view. Not compulsive, not off of your senses, not off of your loneliness, because I mean, you know, you, you make decisions off of the central realm is never accurate. There are some people that stay connected to their mother or father, not because their mother and father are good, but because they in their mind, they have grown. This is how it's supposed to be. But if that person is cursing you mentally. If they're teaching you things, even after you grow up, that's not making you a king. It's not making you a queen. Then you really need to sever. The conversations with that other person. Now, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. You ain't got to be big King Kong, Ding Dong, uh, Dotty Part, and you ain't got to be none of them to understand that if somebody is corrupting your mind, God has not assigned them for your mind. Like you don't have to be extra prophetic to know that you never have an intimacy in conversations with people that are not intimate with the Lord. So King Jesus created this seed principle to eject all the seeds that Satan planted in you. 
Now, there are some seeds that are transferred to you via airdrop. If you got an iPhone, you understand what I mean. Or via, uh, via your unawareness, your unconsciousness. There are some seeds that are transferred to you without your knowledge. And saints, those seeds are the most dangerous seeds because you'll find yourself operating in a way and you don't know what's the reason why you're operating in that way. Why you're acting like that? Why you're thinking like that? Why you feel like that? You know, children, oftentimes, they don't be disrespectful to their parents because they want to. They're disrespectful to their parents because they went to school. You sent them to school and they met somebody with a disrespectful spirit. And that disrespectful spirit spoke with them or they heard that disrespectful spirit talk of their experiences of how they're disrespectful. And your child linked up with the seed, the seed entered your child. And now when you talk to your child, your child is like that. That's that's the secret of how things go. And that's why you have to protect your children. Dear son, in the future, in the future, just hide my words in your heart. If your woman calls you a king, she call you daddy. She call you zaddy. And there's another woman that call her man. Hey, bozo. Hey, bro. Don't let your woman hang around that, that, that woman. Don't let her hang around that type of woman. Because what's going to happen is 